Taurus. How you guys doing today? I am Tiff. I hope you guys are well on this beautiful Taco Tuesday. <laughs> no, my Tauruses love to eat. My best friend is a Taur is, even though she passed away. She's still my best friend. And she's a Taurus, guys. Okay, so this is going to be for the month of August. Let's see what the Tauruses have coming. All of my readings is uh, when I do signs are you versus them. Okay, so if you feel like you're resonating with the other person, take it, reverse it. Um, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's not going to resonate for everybody as it is general. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you would like a personal, all that information is in the description box. You can check that out. With that being said, let's get right into this shit for my Taurus. Let's see, overall energy for Taurus for the month of August, Spirit, Ancestors, and Guides. You know what? I haven't taken two all day, but these cards literally go together. We have transitions and metamorphoses, okay? So you're doing a lot of changing this month, um, I said this month, August, this month, Taurus, okay? You are doing a lot of changing, a lot of transitioning. There's a lot of things gonna that's going to be going in your life that are going to be changing rapidly, okay? With transitions, it says you have all of the inner resources you need to cross whatever bridge arise on your path okay so there's going to be some obstacles coming in august the spirit wants you to know that you have all the inner strength all the resources you need to get over these obstacles okay um with metamorphosis we have power and strength lie within your surrender to change okay so there could be some things that the universe is throwing at you that you're going to be like, why me? Why is this happening? What the fuck is going on? But Taurus, it's because the universe, we, we're we here to spiritually transcend, to grow, right? And there is some kind of lesson that the universe wants you to learn. It could be about spending. It could be about love. It could be about work. It could be something that you... um. And you know what it is, Taurus, that you have not felt good at in your soul, you know, within your soul, that there's going to be some obstacles that are going to come your way in August. But all these challenges are going to be to teach you some spiritual lessons and to help you grow and to transcend, to help you metamorph, okay? And so that's what this is for. Spirit is saying and there might be some difficult times, but guess what? This is necessary for the changes that are needed within you okay taurus let's see spirit ancestors and guides let's see taurus's overall energy towards their person for the month of august spirit ancestors and guides strategy and the door to value okay so you could be looking for a job right now taurus or there could be you know you've been waiting on somebody to call you back for a job okay um I feel like whatever you've been waiting for, it's like you, you've planned, like you've carefully planned out what you want to do, you know, what, what we have strategy in the door to value. Okay. So this is one of two things. This is a love reading, but since money is coming up here, there could be some changes financially coming towards you. Like where, um, you're worried about finding a job. You're worried about some financial stress, you know, um, you're trying to make plans to try to get a job or, you know, to get your finances up. Whatever you're planning on doing, Taurus, like if you want to start a business, if you take that leap of faith, plan this out. I feel like you will be getting a job or whatever you've been waiting on is coming in. Whatever opportunity that you have been waiting on, um, that you have been wanting, it's coming. Okay. It's definitely coming in for you. You might have to do some planning in order to get it though, okay? So plan carefully. Now this also speaks when I come to relationships is that somebody here, Taurus, is finally seeing your value. Somebody is finally seeing you for what you are worth. Um, I feel like for a, you might have been in relationships in the past where you felt unworthy or where you felt like you weren't good enough. But Taurus, there is somebody here that definitely sees your value. They see your worth and they want to plan for the long term with you it's like what you don't see in yourself this person sees and they want to plan for the long term with you let's see about your person like but the money boy i don't think the issues that that are coming for you 
Spirit come through. Look, I just said they appreciate you. They see your value. But literally, listen, though. Their money is looking very good for you. I don't feel like the month of August where these bridges, where these problems are going to arise has to do with finances. I don't. I feel like um, if you're worried about finances, if that's what you're kind of going through in the beginning of August, I feel like shit, all that's going to play out. The money's going to start rolling in. Um, yeah. So here I feel like, once again, you do have somebody that appreciates you, that loves you. And what did I just say? Well, they're planning something with you. They want to take action towards you. This could be a twin flame, a soulmate with that black and white horse, yin and yang, right? But this is somebody that sees your value. They see you for everything that you're worth. They love you. And you know what? You can. They even can see you as where people in the past didn't appreciate this person. Like this person's a giver. They love. They help. You know what I'm saying? I just heard Taurus, so you could deal with another Taurus, but I don't like to read signs, okay? I literally just heard that in my head, but there is definitely, um, it's like you appreciate, you show this person, if they do nice things for you, you're like, oh, thanks, babe, and you might, like, make them something to eat, or you might see something at the store that's, like, three dollars, and you think, oh, they'll love that. It's, like, little shit like this that like people have never showed this person appreciation like that. So, uh, you know, like if, if you are at that point where you're like, oh, this person be doing for you and you want to do something nice, that's going to make this person want to be with you more and take action towards you more. It's because like you actually show appreciation for the things that this person does. And that makes this person appreciate you even more. Look, the door to romance at the bottom, what you don't see coming. This is a brand new beginning in in love, in romance. So if you've been waiting on somebody or this could be like a new person that's coming into your life, you know, where you felt alone for a while, Taurus, but now you have a new person that sees your value. They see what you're worth. They want to work on a partnership. They want to date you. They want, you know what I'm saying? All, all of the above here. Let's see, spirit ancestors and guides for Taurus. For the month of August, pride, right? Which you do. You got some ego. You got some pride because you're feeling yourself. Like at the end of the day, I feel like that could be what the obstacles are. Is that there was a problem with self-love here. With, with truly valuing yourself, right? And I feel like that's what's coming to you. I feel like Spirit's about to bless you financially. Bless you in the love area. And you're going to start feeling yourself. You're going to be like, man, I love myself. Man, life is great. This is going to be beautiful for you. And that's a good thing. Where pride came out here, I don't feel like it's like that pride and ego. It's more like, hell, I'm feeling myself again, right? And then we have envy, okay? So there could be somebody from your past, though, that um, is jealous as fuck. So I feel like you definitely might have somebody new coming in towards, but there could be somebody from your past that is jealous as fuck because they see you glowing up. It's like this person, um, you might have planned to have a, get married to this person, to have a future with this person, and this person, like, cheated on you, um... They left you, they did some whole ass shit, right? And now you're moving on. They left you in a dark place for a while where you felt low, like your self-esteem was low as fuck, right? That's what these transitions and metamorphoses, spirit wants you to love yourself again. So whatever this person from the past did to you and had you feeling low, spirit is about to bring all this good in for you in order to help you metamorph and see yourself for your true value but whoever this is from your past that hurts you and had you in this down down low vibrational energy they're about to be jealous as fuck Taurus okay they're gonna be mad as fuck because you might post on social media they're gonna see that you hey I just got this new job I just got this promotion oh I just won ten thousand dollars at Choctaw Casino you know what I'm saying and then on top of that like you're gonna be meeting like there's a new love coming into your life that values you that appreciates you that knows your worth that sees you and this person is going to be jealous as fuck. So you know what I'm talking about, Taurus. There's definitely a past energy that's about to be fucking mad as hell. That you're going to be moving forward. That you're going to be blessed. <laughs> and they're going to be stuck in karma. <laughs> Let's see. Spirit, ancestors, and guys. Taurus's person. 
peace. I'm a being of love. I, like this person, like is just like too good to be true almost to you, Taurus, because it's like where this past person was toxic. You guys argued, or they would like you try to go out with your friends. They accuse you of shit. Like this person's gonna be the type that's like, oh, you want to go out with your friends? All right, have a good time. You know, call me when you're on your way, so I know you're all right. Don't be driving drunk. If you need anything, give me a call. You know what I'm saying? This is the, like, this is not a negative energy at all. This is a very high vibrational person. This is somebody that's going to bring you peace. And I feel like you bring them a lot of peace. Like, I mean, this is going to where it's, you've been sad. You've been in this low vibration. You've had this chaotic nature. Now peace is coming, right? The death card. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. I feel like you had recently gotten out of a relationship there was an ending okay but spirit wants you to know that ending happened for a reason it changed something in you to help you learn self-love and there's a new beginning coming with somebody else it's going to be amazing let's see what shadow work you're dealing with at this time you and your person what shadow work is taurus dealing with at this time spirit today for tomorrow okay so you know normally that saying goes like live for today not for tomorrow no this person's gonna make you want to live for tomorrow this person is going to make you want to plan for tomorrow okay this person man i feel like you have manifested this you have wished like to have somebody that loves you that wants to be with you you know what i'm saying I feel like you guys definitely are like a twin flame energy. We have a full moon and, you know, twins on the, on the, let's see what your person's shadow work is. The child I was meant to be. So your person, the new person coming in could have some issues stemming back from childhood, like with their parents, you know, they could have not had a lot of love in the home or their they were you know their parents were absent they were raised by their grandmother who didn't kind of like show them a lot of love just took care of them something like that where they couldn't be the child that they were meant to be you know they had to grow up too fast they might have had to take care of their siblings or you know their person their parents worked all the time and or they were poor or they were molested there's there's something here within childhood that has scarred this person okay and this person definitely it's like they want to have kids and they want to have a family because they want to give their family everything that they didn't see growing up like this person is going to be so different from your last person because this person has been through it since childhood you know they've experienced pain they've experienced heartbreak they have given their all and been let down all the way back to childhood this is very sad i feel sad for this person and it's like this person knows what it's like to be let down and to be made to feel like they are unworthy because their own parents made them feel that way and they would never want to project that onto somebody else so this person, what like what they tell you and when they're here from you, it's real, Taurus. This person loves you. This person is going to be there for you. This person is going to be everything you want and everything you've been needing. But you have to let go of that past energy, that jealous ass energy that you've ended it with, okay? Let's see what we got coming up for my Taurus is in love spirit. Heart to heart conversations. Um, I feel like you guys, that's how you guys will be getting to know each other. It's just going to start out like you could even just be out with friends and start up a little chit chat and then bam, you know what I'm saying? Like you guys start talking about things from childhood and things you've been through and it's just, it's going to grow from there. Let's see what else does the Taurus have coming for the month of August spirit ancestors and guides. I can't make this shit up worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. This is meant to be, okay? I feel like you have been through it. You might have have been single for a little while because of this past energy that had you down. But Spirit is saying this is meant to be. This connection is meant to be, Taurus. And divine timing is working its way out. We have very soon. And we have children. 
Wow. So I'm telling you, I literally just said this person wants to have kids because they want to give them everything that they didn't have. You might even come up pregnant very quickly by this person. Okay, Taurus, I'm just going to be honest. Um, you know, like shit, you guys get to bang in the passions there and then a kid pops up and it's like you're posting happily with this person and you have this jealous ass karmic energy that can't do nothing but sit back and watch you move on into your happiness. Like literally. Let's see, let's get some get some advice from the universe and then we will move on. Page of Wands, optimistic. News of exciting opportunities, allowing your creativity to soar, do things that fuel your passions. Okay, so this is ur the spirit urging you to go towards this person, go towards what you're passionate about. Don't let this idea that you're unworthy and that you have, you know, self esteem issues. Don't let that get in the way of this connection. Don't feel like you're unworthy of this person's love. Okay, because man, this person loves you very, is going to love you very, very much. And then news of an exciting opportunity. We already said there's going to be some kind of job opportunity, some kind of promotion. You might even within the next month, very soon, find out you're pregnant by this person. Okay. We have the two of swords. That's a card of indecision, being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Follow your heart rather than trying to make others happy, pretending there is no problem, overanalyzing a situation. So you're going to be overthinking. You're going to be like, okay, because of what you've done been through in the past with this person, I feel like there is somebody from your past that's still lingering that you might still communicate with. And this other person is going to make it to where you have to make a decision to let that past negative energy go and move forward with this new energy. It's going to be difficult for you. It's like you don't want to right then, but eventually you're going to follow your heart your intuition is going to tell you it's like the past person has a way of making you feel guilty and reeling you back in but it's not going to happen this time don't overthink it okay because ultimately the sun is what you are leading yourself into pure bliss pure happiness a time of great joy and success um plans that work out perfectly thanks to the divine pure happiness is what this person is going this new person is going to bring to you taurus Okay. All right. If that resonated at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, my loves. Peace.